Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is August 14th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I am going to talk about the spate of current global temperature records that is now ongoing across parts of the world due in majority to human-caused climate change. But before I dig into that, I want to look at one region of the world where we are likely to see the human threshold for, for being able to tolerate heat as an absolute maximum be exceeded at some point in the relatively near future, in the next, next couple of decades, two to three decades, if fossil fuel burning continues on the present trajectory. And that region is, is the Persian Gulf, Persian Gulf and, and surrounding land masses. I've gone ahead and focused in on this region in the Earth Null School measure. And what we're looking at now is, is a misery index or heat index value for a region of the Earth's surface over the Persian Gulf. And this heat index value is, is a feels like temperature and the present measurement for today is 54 degrees Celsius heat index. Now that, that's, a, that's a pretty high heat index. It, it roughly translates to a feels like temperature of 129.2 degrees Fahrenheit. So how hot do you think it is at the ocean surface in, in an actual temperature comparison? Well, to answer that, that question, let's flip over to the temperature monitor. And what we see is that temperatures at the surface in the Persian Gulf in this region are 35.8 degrees Celsius or in the upper 90s degrees in, in degree Fahrenheit. So why is the, the heat index, why, why is the heat index so high? Well, in short, the reason why the heat index is so high is because the relative humidity at the surface is 71%. Now, this high relative humidity reduces the ability of the body to cool itself by evaporating water from the surface of the skin. This reduces the body's ability to cool the skin surface and which, which translates into, into the body itself. So, so this makes it feel a lot hotter than it really is. So when we're talking about the ability of the human body to cool itself, we're also talking about a natural limit. And, and as the Earth's surface warms, the global surface temperatures and humidity will eventually get pushed into a range that humans can no longer tolerate in that an absolute limit will be reached where the human body can't cool the surface of the skin and can't cool the body itself. And this absolute limit is defined as a 35 degree Celsius wet bulb temperature. Now a wet bulb is simply a membrane over a, over a ball and, and, and measuring the temperature of that membrane. And, and what that does is it simulates a wet human skin. And, and the reason why a, a 35 degrees Celsius wet bulb temperature is the limit for, for human endurance is because of the, the temperature of the body itself. Once you get within a degree or two of the internal temperature of the body at the surface of the skin, the internal temperature of the body heats up. Now, there's been no official measure of a period in which wet bulb temperatures exceeded 35 degrees Celsius. A couple of years ago in the Euphrates Delta region in the north of the Persian Gulf, there was a, there was a brief period of time where there was some indicator that wet bulb 35C may have been exceeded. But as the Earth heats up, 
unfortunately, we are likely to see that threshold exceeded on an official basis. And this is, is one of the things that's involved with heat danger. So I'm going to go ahead and, and give you guys a tool here for measuring wet bulb temperature. So, so we've noted that surface temperatures are 35.8 degrees Celsius in the region, uh, this region of the per Persian Gulf. And we've noted that the relative humidity is 71%. These are two elements of, of how you determine or how you calculate wet bulb temperature. The third element is surface pressure. And the surface pressure is 99.5, and I'm sorry, 9, 9 995 HPA of, of pressure at the surface, and that is the, the third indicator for wet bulb. Now, weather.gov does provide a wet bulb calculator, and I've gone ahead and plugged in these various criteria for wet bulb measure to get a surface wet bulb temperature in this region that I've, that I've identified as uh, 54 degrees Celsius misery index, and the wet bulb temperature is 31.02 degrees Celsius. So, so a very high wet bulb temperature, certainly a dangerous wet bulb temperature, making it more likely that human beings exerting themselves in this region will have trouble cooling and suffer risk of heat injury, but not at the absolute limit of human endurance. So, so just a, a general statement about human endurance as it relates to human-caused climate change and the hard limit that, that we're starting to push in a number of regions. So we have a, a few more minutes. So what I, I want to do is, is call your attention to the spate of record hot temperatures that have occurred across the globe since May. And Robert Rode, who is a climate scientist from Berkeley Earth, has provided this graphic of, of record hot temperatures. And in, in the black, as you run this model, or as you run this illustration, you see all-time record high temperatures. And in the orange, you have the one to five warmest temperatures. In the orange, you have record daily temperatures. And in the, the red, you have uh, monthly record temperatures. So, so you can see this, this spate of, of records that is occurring across the globe. NOAA itself provides a, a record of, of um, US and, and global record high and low temperatures. So I'm going to go ahead and briefly discuss the, the present trend as it regards to record highs and record lows over the past days and months. And what we're seeing is that record highs are outpacing record lows by a considerable margin, typically about two to three to one in the daily high maximum temperatures, and more than three to one in most cases in the three to one or four to four to one in the record high minimum temperatures. But where we start to see a, a major departure is when we get into all-time record highs in both the high maximum and high minimum temperatures. Over the last 30 days, 77 record high maximum temperatures have been achieved across the globe. And these are all-time records, never, never before reached. Zero low maximums, so zero record lows. And 142 record high minimum temperatures, which would typically occur during the cooling period of night, with zero record low minimum temperatures. In the past year, we have about an eight or nine to one ratio of record high maximums versus record low maximums, and more than 10 to one of record high minimums to record low minimums. So this is another signal of human-caused climate change. As, as we see the earth warm, we see more record highs reached, and, and this in turn, creates more danger for human beings in working out in the environment and creates a number of add-on effects. So, so just a general overview of the, the present frequency of all-time records, but also an understanding of, of human limits and, and the hard human limit of the 35C wet bulb. Thank you for joining me, and I'll be